how are you all doing? Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Hi. Bonjour. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey. Well, thank you all again for taking the time to speak with me today. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wanted to get started asking about um, the initial development of the script and the film um, project overall. Um, what, what was that process like of really getting the project together in um, terms of getting the script together? Xavier, I think it's for Oh, you. sorry. So for me, the script came from the, the script ID came from a journalist. Uh, I have article of journal I read about uh, Thai uh, stories and um, one particularly happening in uh, Bali where a French guy uh, carry on uh, drugs with him and stay 20 years in jail over there so I was like oh that could be a nice setup for a story and then I went into a prison to interview some prisoners about their life about what they've been uh, through and um, uh, mostly for small things like drug dealing this kind, not at big scale, but based on the street underground drug dealing. And I wanted to tell the story of a redemption of a character, uh, like the character of Sam, who is going to be through this. He want to go come back to the nice, uh, to a good road, but uh, he's catch up by his, by his past. And uh, at some point, he uh, he knows things. He tried to reconstruct his life, but uh, the main thematic of the film is really about second chance. And uh, as well as a filmmaker, uh, I wanted to come back to the roots of uh, my cinema and do something completely different from what I did before, because I learned new things and I wanted to experiment these new things as a first feature. And then also I wanted to ask you, Xavier, about directing the film and what that experience was like um, once production began to also direct the film. Uh, for me, when the production began, um, uh, so can you repeat the question? Sorry, because I I have uh, it cut a little bit. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. What was your experience like on set? Um. Directing the film once production began. Okay. Uh. First of all, it was um imp super important for me. I got Jude involved in the process because it's been more or less three years we worked together from Gangs of London and another project called Avoc where we did second unit together. And it was like a continuity of the work we did together in UK, in France. So I had that project and I was lucky enough to have this project financed in France. So I called Jude and told him, uh, okay, man, I got this. Are you okay to come on board? So if, if Jude was not available to do it, that movie would never happen, to be honest, because it was really important. We bring the process of work we had together on Gangs of London and Havoc on that French film, because it was important for me to... Uh, bring what I learned in UK in France to show what is possible to do on a French film, but also to tell a story, an emotional story connected to the character and be able to create something which is uh, in the continuity of the work we start together three years ago. And then also I wanted to ask about the casting and um, I wanted to ask you, Nassim, about starring in the film. Um, what was it about the character and the script overall that can we just see the story in the film? So, yeah, for me, I'm, I'm going to show you a funny story. It's like, yeah, I, I was cast um, for, um, I wasn't cast for Ferenc, but like I had, a, I was in New York with my girlfriend and I had a, to send a self-tape for Gangs of London season two. And I knew that Xavier was um, in charge of two, epi three episodes in the first season. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to send him my, my tape. And so like, maybe if he, if he can do something with it. And so Xavier replied to me, and long story short, he, he said, uh, your tape is great, but I'm not on season two, so so I, I won't be able to push harder for that. But let's have a drink, a coffee, when you're back in Paris. So we had that drink, and he pitched me the movie, Ferenc, uh, Mayhem. So Sorry, now no, it's called Mayhem. And when he told me the story, I was like, oh my God, that's the movie I've dreamed about like my entire career. And I would love to do it. But then he was like, but sorry, I already have a, an actor for the lead. I was like, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I was really sad. And then three weeks later, uh, Xavier and Vincent, the producer, they called me and they were like, um, okay, we, the actor is not available anymore. Would you like to to do the movie? 
of course i said no no i'm kidding i said it. yes i jumped on the occasion and 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 that's and then they they put a trust in me and like uh, and i had the chance to work with that uh Xavier and by the way I was a huge fan of his work before that movie and also I, I I was a huge fan of like one of my favorite action movie was The Red and so and Kingsman is on my top movie so I had the chance to work with my two two uh, cinema heroes one best stunt coordinator ever and, and Xavier so I was like god I'm blessed thank you <laughs> Jude, I also wanted to ask you about becoming involved in the film and what was your experience like really working on creating the action sequences and the play um, choreography as well? Well, I first worked with Xavier on Gangs of London. Um, Gareth Evans brought me onto that and Xavier was one of three directors on that series. And I found it very comfortable working with Xavier. Some directors you don't gel with as an action designer, as a stunt coordinator, there can be creative differences, but also often it's issues of ego or not having the same references. But I think Xavier and I watch a lot of the same movies. We're both, we've both worked in Hong Kong cinema and Hong Kong cinema, the action is very specific, the way it's photographed, the way it's edited. Normally it's shot in a, in a montage style. So each bit of action, there's a specific angle or camera movement for that. It's not something that's created in post-production. So I found it very comfortable working with Xavier. We, if we talked about Choi Huck or Ringo Lam or John Woo, we, we understood each other. And uh, I remember Xavier telling me about this, this story um, of a man who's come from France to Thailand that gets into some trouble. And for me, the, the opportunity to work with Xavier uh, in Thailand um, on something action-based and knowing that I can work with Thai stunt teams was just like an opportunity I could not pass up. I love how Xavier doesn't do heartless dumb action it, there's always an emotional core to it there's an emotional truth to it that resonates and i love how he elevates material so it's the chance to do something where there's a bit of emotion to it but also i know he's going to allow us to really try and do good action by following the template of hong kong cinema following the methods that gareth evans used where we shoot and design everything on video and with a computer weeks and weeks or months and months before we actually get to set and then we're replicating that choreography and that previs on set everybody's following that blueprint and uh it's it's a method that that gets you know good results a lot of the time and we were if in addition to that i wanted to say uh, uh, we are lucky as well because it's a process uh, and Jude uh, witnessed this coming in France doing it because in France we are not used at all to do that. Uh, it's really it's clearly a Hong Kong method brought I in think. UK by Gareth Evans because uh, it's his process and he know that from Indonesia and the main efficient movie is doing. And we were lucky to to have our producer who trust that process because it's a, it's not a cheap process because you need to book people long time in advance. You need to have crew. You need to have the stunts coming from all over Europe to prep the design. Then you have to repeat this design in Thailand. To That means hiring uh, stunts before they went into camera, before we enter into production. And I think it's uh, important we say we have the trust of our producer, uh, Vincent Roger, to um, allow us to do that process because that's uh, not every producer understand that you see what I mean so I think it's super important as, as well to have producer who understand the process and are um, agree to follow your uh, your intention to do that because it's uh, it's not everyone who will uh, able to understand that true and um, lastly, to wrap up, I also wanted to ask about the Thai boxing scenes in particular, and those are um, action sequences that I really enjoyed and wanted to ask more about um, what was that experience like in particular for you all to create those boxing scenes as well. You can start, monsieur. <laughs> so you, you want me to talk about the, the Thai fighting scenes? Yeah. 
uh, it was uh, for me it was uh, it was if I could say easy to, to play because I've been doing uh, Thai fighting, real real Thai fights, and we were surrounded with a, a great um, Thai fighters. Like the two guys that you, you know, all, all the Thai fighters in the movie are real ones. And so we, um, after I uh, asked the permission to to uh, the stunt team and, and Xavier, like we were, um, um, okay, we agreed to have all of the body shots, uh, all of the body shots were real. And of course, uh, all the head shots were like um, stunts shots. But like so, for me, it was it was really good. But for the for the story, like uh, the the Thai fighters, they were uh, going like a bit too hard on the on the forearm, and I was asking them like uh, if it was possible to go to be a little bit more gentle, and they were like, yeah, 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 no problem. And then they were hitting harder. So you know they they love to play like this. But I think that that's why in the scene you can see that we have a, a real adversity at a point. Because we were like uh, we were playing with that, but like it was really cool for me to to do those uh, those fight scenes, those Thai fight scenes. If you want to add something, Gabby, I don't know. Mm, I thought it's really the process uh, as we talked a little bit earlier about uh, doing the previous uh, Jude in charge of the previous the stunt team in uh, in Thailand and in Europe. So that means all that preparation before. Will make us win a lot of time uh, on set, so that could be, I will say, a, a comfort for Nassim to be able to know exactly what we can do. So like that, he can only focus on some specific takes when there is uh, actions to do. And uh, maybe Jude, you want to talk about the process as your English is much yeah. better than me. <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> I was up at five o'clock this morning. My English is probably as bad as my French. Um, <laughs> What I would say is that there's this idea these days that anybody can be an action star. And with technology and with stunt doubles, to a certain extent, that's true. But when you have somebody standing in a Thai boxing ring and they're just wearing shorts and hand wraps, there's not a lot of faking you're not able to disguise a stunt double. You cannot put protective body pads on. And when you see contact, from a leg into somebody's side, into their arm, um, the audience knows there's not a lot of fakery yeah. going on. So yeah. it's uh, it, it's it's nice for me as a, as a choreographer, as an action designer, to work with an actor that can do those things and is willing to do those things, who's hungry and still <laughs> has a bit of that fighter in them that they want to take the hits because some people want to be you know, everybody wants to eat an omelette, but nobody wants to break the eggs, you know, <laughs> sometimes. Um, so it's it, it was great to have this opportunity to 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 work with an actor that, that could do these things. And I think when when audiences watch Mayhem, they will not feel uh, short change. They will feel that they're, they're, they're seeing their lead character in the thick of things. And those kind of opportunities don't come that often in my career, because I think the 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 idea of the action star is maybe a little bit passe and now it's like everybody's an action star and also to have a director and a camera team that support this very Asian way of shooting and, and developing the action is a rare opportunity um, in Europe for sure and and I know based on the the feedback I got in France a lot of French people were like we, we don't make movies like this we don't yeah. see action like this and hopefully the 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 wider Western audience will feel that they're watching something special thank you great thank you all again for taking the time to speak thank with me today thank you, so thank you. thanks again for <laughs> recording stop